still waiting. Bro, these niggas, I got the ride booked, right? Right, right. But these motherfuckers still ain't gave me a time, and I still don't have a car, bro. Nigga, I'll get nigga, you a lift right now. I'll get, you a, I'll get you an Uber right now. Well, no, no, no. I can't. Yeah, text, text me the address, bro. But what, what were you talking about? About the um. So you said it's satellites in the in, in space, and we don't know what's say that say that shit again, bro. For yeah, yeah. I was wondering, like, how many of these things that how many of these lights that we see in the sky? How many of these are are stars? How many stars are actually out there minus the what? minus the satellites? You know? Yeah. Because. Because for some reason, bro, like, what I've seen in Spring of Villa Neger, that shit, or around going towards Spring of Villa Neger, fucking, that shit made its own star, bro. And it was fast as shit. Right. You know, like, like you know how they say, oh, you know, unbelievable fucking uh, maneuvers and shit like that. It was just like that. It was just like, you know, uh, like a push of a button and that motherfucker made a star. How the fuck? Does that happen? But right. I need to, I need to do some shit. I want to go that fast. You know what I'm saying? I need to do some shit like that. But I like how like how how would the, I, how, what what do I want to say, bro? Smoking all that good I feel ass like, Arizona weed. I know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm to, Nigga, off the shitty titties. I, I'm trying to censor myself, bro. No, you can say what the fuck. Fuck what these the niggas. You can say whatever the fuck you want to say, bro. Fuck these niggas. Ain't the thing, yeah. Say it, bro. I think, uh, I think, uh, what technically the, the term is extraterrestrial. Facts. Um. Oh, shit. I think I'm on somebody's. No, go ahead. Keep going. Keep going. I'm pretty sure that they, they are watching and they come down every now and then. Facts. You know? Mm hmm And it's like, it's like, um, and it, it's so weird, bro, because it, it's weird. I don't want to see too much about it. Well, you know what? Fuck it, man. Uh, it's weird because, nigga, right. these motherfuckers, like, when you, when I seen the shit, I didn't even know the shit was there. And it was just like, nigga, what the hell is over here? You know, there's literally an open field and shit and these mountains in between, mountains all around this little open type of fucking desert place. And it's just like, what the fuck was over there? Me and me and the me and the fucking passenger uh, looked over there like, what the fuck? I don't know if he was looking because I was looking, but I was looking, I was like, what the fuck? You know? Yeah. So obviously, let's say let's say their communication is different. You know? Right. Let's say let's say, I mean, we you could even say that our communication uh, communication is inferior because, I mean, hey, we uh we we don't. We really don't want to be a human at this point. We're like straying away from being a human and going towards technology and cyborg shit. So our natural ability to to like not even not read minds, but to like gain messages just by not even a look, right? right. Just by energy, mm -hmm. you know, telepathy. So you're from Brooklyn. Yeah. So when you when you from so so being from Brooklyn, bro, like I know you feel that people shouldn't have. So you you don't think people should have leaders? Like why should right. people not have leaders? Like I think because, people personally. Because, no, go ahead, bro. Because that I'm pretty sure that the natural way of it, the human of the human of us is will correct itself accordingly you know yeah. um obviously to come out of something like this is going to take literally probably hundreds and hundreds maybe even thousands of years to completely get to the point where we're working together with the earth instead of you know doing like this at adversary or this uh what do you call it right what's up carrie uh she said pretty much to evolve yeah 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 well definitely we're we're basically devolving right now Just, you know yeah we're doing stuff that 
we're, we're doing stuff from an external, from things that's external instead of internal. And believe it or not, people people don't understand like the human body and the human mind and all that. The human period, it did a lot to us, bro. You know, like the main, like uh, like how you said, um, you have to be delusional to get what you want out here in this world, right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> that basically meaning like Who the f- you have to have an idea, right? Or you have to have something and you feel strongly about it and you go for it. Right. You know. If you say you are this, then you will be that because you're going to keep pushing for it. Well, the you whole... Know, uh, go, ahead, go ahead. Yeah. No, 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 you're all right. The whole concept was you have to be, you have to be delusional <clears throat> in order to have <clears throat> an extreme amount of success because success is not set out for us to have from the blueprint that we have in, our, mm-hmm. in us. So for you to believe that you can do something extraordinary, you have to have extraordinary concepts in your mind that was not given to you. We are all supposed to have abundance at one time. Yes, equally, but at the same time, you feel me? You have to, you have to believe. Let's, if I said today to you right now, bro, I'm going to be a billionaire. Yes, we have to be crazy. Just like Einstein said, for someone to change the world, they have to have and ex- you, you have to be obsessed with something in some way for you to be All able right. to think. Have a good one, huh? Nah. All right. You Thanks. Yeah. So, but, uh, for you to be, yeah. for you to think that you're going to do something that the average person was not programmed to do, which is why I like to go back to human nature, which is, we're going to touch on that a little bit later. For you to believe that you're going to do something that is unnatural you have to believe that you are going to be put in a state that is outside of what is intended for you to do you okay okay i'm gonna give you this so when i did research on biology a lot of people are telling me we're not supposed to jog that's unnatural because people because our ancestors didn't naturally jog every day. We didn't run. We only ran where we when we were in fear. Okay? You get what I'm saying? You get where I'm going with this? Yeah. So yeah, for you yeah, to believe yeah. that you're going to be a world-class jogger or a world-class runner and make billion, m- millions, not the word billion, millions of dollars off of this one thing that we're not even supposed to be able to do every day, you know, that you have to be in a state of delusion to do some shit like that. You feel me? Yep. You, yeah. And you just had, and, and with the running part, you would just feel like your body could just do it, bruh. And I, I see what you're saying, Metaphor. like using our natural, right, um, right, right. using what we naturally have. And it's like being twisted into something else, like running that's normally used for when people, in, when people, for when people are in fear and all wait, that. Wait, 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 bro. Wait, bro. Now, yeah, you can say something. I didn't. I don't even know how we're connecting because this phone is really fucked up. But yeah, you can say something. I know I can't see you. Right, right, right. But yeah, yeah. but um, however, like I think running is like running is the thing that you do even to get somewhere. I think even before, right. for some reason, I think that like even okay, you were hunting or right. you were running from something. Like, and we're going to talk about evolution or whatever. You were either hunting Is this Jacqueline? For it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, So, yeah. I think it goes both ways. I mean, so the I whole concept just... is that, you know, yes, we run naturally, but it's something that we're not supposed to do every day. That's something we but are... For, run, for, for hunting, dude. Yeah. But we're... Okay. Like, people... Sorry, I'm drinking a beer. I'm chilling. Oh, but, but like, like, um, like me as a person that that's always been kind of like, I always like either bike or skated or some shit. You know what I mean? I wasn't really a runner, but like, okay, I'm Mexican, right? So in my culture, right, right. what they what they used to do is like play this game that was kind of like soccer, but also basketball at the same time. Right. You know what I mean? Where you would run for the ball or the rubber ball, you know, because we have rubber trees over here. And so they would mm. run for the ball and hit it with their body parts. 
and try to put it in the in the hoop that was like way higher. And so people are running, you know, for different reasons. You run to go get like I'm a mother. I run right. because my kid is running, my kid is walking, my kid walks, my kid runs. You know, I'm a run to go get him, mm. get him out of danger. I, you know what I mean? I think it's kind of like something that's innate and it's inevitable. It, yeah, I agree you know, with but that. What, what is your point with like not being natural? Like right now, I'm running like five miles, like once a week. I only do it once a week because I'm not really a runner. Right. You know what I mean? But <laughs> well, there's but, uh, there's motions that we can make. There's mo there's things we can do with the human body that are not things that we should do every day. For example, bin I I I met a uh, a bodybuilder that said bench pressing is very is not good for your body because that's not a natural human motion. That's not something our ancestors had to do. You don't naturally have to push things off of your body when you're on your back. For example, that's not something that you should do because. Oh, okay. Our genetics are not programmed to do that every single day. You might get in a situation where you might have to push something off your back. But, you know, what we going back to what you were talking about, bro. Um, get what something that really touched me. You uh, you said that we need to get back to nature and find out, you know, the the foundation of our growth. Because what's yeah. really important that you said that I've been saying for the past couple of weeks is when we get back to nature, you know, we have less need for technology, which is something mm -hmm. that I really freaking love that you said. So I want you to touch on that, if you will. Yeah, I think uh, once once that uh, once we do start going towards that natural route, right? You know, um, I think stuff will start unlocking like a video game. You know what I mean? Right. Your mind or your your body and, and your just spirit or whatever is gonna fucking start kicking in and you're gonna start noticing shit just over and over again and then kids and kids and then their kids, kids and their kids, kids you you start you'll start you'll start seeing seeing shit. <laughs> Damn, say that five times fast. You'll start seeing shit. <laughs> yeah, you start seeing shit. Take um off. seeing shit <laughs> shit. Yeah, I get that. But uh yeah. And um, hell yeah! Like I like um, people right now, they already we get to the point where people are like, like ge general people are like feeling energies of people and knowing energies of people and shit, and not like mixing that in with body language or whatever, whatever else. It's just like the energy, you know, like um, like your mother, right? Mm -hmm. Most most mothers, hell, if they kids get into get into some bullshit they know that their yeah. kid is getting into some bullshit That's you know right. yes. like every time that fucking the goddamn pigs uh, the the police. the the police officers come <sighs> fuck with me or fuck with anybody or fuck with me right mm -hmm. my mom is already fucking like calling and like blah, 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 while the shit's happening a little bit before the shit happens and then tells me not to do this and not to do that and i fuck around and do it anyway and that was that then i get i get the shit in the stick you know because i didn't listen so it's shit like that you know what i mean i'm pretty sure we all could do that okay you know and i'm pretty sure like with having um dreams and shit of uh, like like deja vu type shit like you could call it permanent i'm pretty sure everybody can do that because nigga I don't have if, if I don't have dreams, right? Mm -hmm. it, it's not really like a dream. It's more like a perception of reality, right, this, huh? A per, like a new perception of reality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and, so hold, 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 hold on. Now, um, I don't know who you are exactly. Can you tell me who you are, if you like? You don't have to. Are you there? I'm talking to you, exactly. What is it, dude or me? I'm talking to you. <laughs> you said me? Okay, yeah. sorry. You. Um, I'm Ale. We were talking about you. We were talking about, okay, you said you were... So can you see me? I can't see you. Can you see me? Yeah, what did you do to your phone? Because I, I saw you like when I first moved in. It's broken. I didn't even know. I don't even know how we're connected right now. But can you chime in on that? Because I think. Oh, I. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you see me now? I 
I just got old, dude. I just got fucking hair. My teeth hair was about to get on the sofa. I don't know what that means, but it sounds lit. So, but can you t- <laughs> can you chime in on that? Because it sounds like my bro was talking about energy fields and a perception of dreams because he's really good at separating what he likes to call real dreams and fake dreams. I don't know if you want yeah. to go into that at some point, my guy, but I'll okay, Yeah, okay, I was about to say the same thing. Okay, so lately, thing, yeah. I, have, I always have these kind of dreams where I see people I don't know, mm-hmm. and um, that's what happens to me. I see people I don't know. I don't know who the fuck these people are, and I'm like, who are these people? And I'm like hanging out with them, and then what happens to me is then that I dream them, then I meet them in real life later on. Like, I get all these premonition mm. dreams. And then my regular dreams, sometimes I have, like, dreams, like, like metaphorical dreams. Mm-hmm. But lately, mm-hmm. I haven't been remembering my dreams. But I heard this lady say on YouTube earlier, she said, sometimes you don't remember them because you need to, like, you need to, like, live them. And you don't need to, like, you, that part of your mind doesn't need to, like, um, tell you you're just going to experience it. It's something that you should, like, I don't know what she said. I, I really got to get back to you on that one. But lately, to be honest, I've been in everybody's dreams because everybody in the mm. will be calling me talking about Ali, I dreamt me last night. And I'm like, and they'll be telling me, like, dude, you were in this desolate area where there's all this fire and everything's burning and you're super clean. And I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm not, I'm trying not to get burned. I'm trying to be, like, you know, take care of myself. And, like, I've been cutting heads and cutting everybody off and burning them out of my life, you know what I mean? I feel like right now is the perfect time to to kind of like voice what you want and what you don't want, even if it's Venus retrograde or whatever, mm-hmm. it's the perfect time to like to be like, this is what I want, this is what I don't want and and just continue manifesting. It's a great time to manifest right now. It is. I agree. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like besides that, like on dreams, I haven't, I can't even remember my dreams, man. I feel like my dreams are like, like so mundane on a level, but, right. and I'm just like, I've been kind of bored to be honest with you. Like I do a lot of stuff. I do creative stuff and I do like, like craftsmanship shit. And, but I've been feeling like, like, um, like my shit is so normal for me, but for somebody else, it might be totally unnormal. You know what I mean? Right. So I'm just mm-hmm. like trying to like get myself settled in my craft and then figure out what is my next step. Well, you know I, of course, what I would like, recommend for that is you journaling. I'm sorry? What I, would rec- what I would recommend is you journaling, keeping a pen, paper by your, uh, by your bed and affirming before you go to sleep. You know that you're going to remember your dreams meditating at least for 15 minutes before you go to sleep and don't go don't go to sleep when you're um sleepy make sure to wake yourself up a little bit more Dude, and it's I called it's called sleep hygiene so you have to have a lot of you have to have a lot of good patterns you know that are going to contribute to you being able to remember your dreams but going back to what you were saying bro understanding these energy fields and knowing where we come from and how people are commu- sub-communicating, what would you say is important more so when it comes to... Because I know you live in Arizona. I know you you have a lot of yeah. energy around you. Um, so yeah. I want you to uh, be able to... To, to... to double down on what she said, Right. like some of those dreams you aren't supposed to rem- remember, you know? Right. Like uh, those, those premonitions or whatever you want to call them. Bro... Mm. <laughs> It, it makes sense for you not to remember them because then you can change it, right? And there's been dreams where I have, where I can change it, and I have changed it, you know? But in that same dream, there was multiple different choices that popped up in that same dream if I took this route or if I took that route. And you can't mm-hmm. hear any, I don't hear anything. It's more like a feeling, you know? You kind of feel which one, and you feel it in your gut, which one is right and which one is this, or which one could possibly help you in the future. Or which one you think is best for right now? Yeah. Um, it if you if you remembered all of them, you would you you be you be fucking shit up, low key, you know. <laughs> yeah, you be controlling it. Mm-hmm. I mean, like this is what I want. And yeah, yeah. you go. Know? Yeah. I just had a reading, you guys. I just had a reading 
last yesterday, my, my homegirl hit me up. She's like, this is this tarot guy. Remember, Erin, you were hitting me up about your thing? But I right. couldn't because I, I met up with my homegirl. She has a little kid, too. So we met up, and, and uh, we, we had a reading from some guy in Mexico. And then the guy was, like, telling me, you he he checked out my cards. I didn't tell him nothing, right? Mm -hmm. And he was like, oh, you have a gift. And I was like, oh, okay. You know, this is all in Spanish and stuff. And I'm like, what is that? He says you could uh, cleanse people. Mm -hmm. Like in Spanish, it's called doing limpias. Mm -hmm. Or like helping people like kind of overcome stuff, I guess. I yeah. don't know. And then I was like, he said, but your issue is that you absorb energy. And then you hold on to it. And then he told me, yeah. he told me um, that I had freaking, I'm sorry for changing your subject, by the way, but oh, cool. um, mm -hmm. he told me that, like, that I, like, hold, that I've been having the spirit, yeah, that I hold on to shit, but then he said that I've been having the spirit since I was a little girl. He's like, it's not good, mm. it's not bad, but it's always with you. And I was mm. kind of tripping out, because I, I used to, like, I was living in Oakland like seven years ago, and then I came back to LA, mm. and um, and I I started cleaning for this tarot, this Cuban tarot reader, right? This old man, this old black man, and I was cleaning his house, I would go over and clean his house, smoke cigarettes with him, and he would read my tarot for free. You know what I mean? And um, and so when he passed away, nobody claimed him because everybody was in Cuba, and so. Like, they told me, hey, you got to clean out his stuff. So I kept a couple of his statues, like a couple African statues and, like, different stuff, you know. And and I started, like, cleansing everything with, like, sage and everything. But um, he told me he was in this hood because I, I live in the same hood since I was a little girl. You know, I moved around, but I always came back because my mom lives here. Right. But I always, like, um, he told me. I kept his statues, I saged them, and I tried to cleanse them because he was doing, like, tarot readings and witchcraft for other people, you know what I mean? Right. And um, he was, like, a santero. And um, and so I kept, I still have a bunch of his statues and stuff, like, these Africans with, like, giant pros, like, really OG shit. Mm -hmm. But, like, I, like, I, like, saged them, but, like, and I got rid of a lot of, like, the weird energies that was with them, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But, um, but on another level, it's like, he told me, I remember you when you were a little girl, because he had been in this hood for that long. And he told me, he's like, you you were like my little angel. And it was so weird, like, to me. But I was just like, oh, stop it, you know? And I was just, you will be making the Cuban coffee and smoking cigarettes and, like, freaking chilling, you know? But um, on another level, it's like, I feel like, like, I feel like the spiritual realm or, like, the tarot and stuff like that has always kind of followed me for me to be, like, attentive to it. But to be honest, I have, like, two tarot decks. I can't read it. I could barely remember some of the stuff. Like, I'm not that great, but I'm more, like, of a feeling person. Right. And what I'm trying to figure it out now is, like, yes, I recognize I'm some kind of healer, but I'm trying to figure out how do I not get energy stuck to me you know oh well I you mean? gotta shield see shadow people the guy the tarot reader guy told me last night you gotta shield you gotta learn how to turn your stuff on and off that's your choice that's like your how choice. though dude because like Meditation. i'm sensitive i'm an artist i paint and i draw and shit like that and right. i'm like fuck dude it like so like, D, I, look, hold on, hold on. Let, let, let my let my brother let my brother tell you exactly how to do that. So, you I know I know you took a lot of uh, yeah. I'm, martial... I'm I'm just as sensitive as, as what it sounds like you are. Exactly. So yeah, I uh, I just I take I take everything as a learning lesson and actually as a learning lesson, you know, and, and just go from there. I don't care about most of what people think or anything like that, even though I still think about it. I'm human, right? But, you know, there's, I, it's, uh, the best way, the best way that I handle stuff like that is to, like, live and let die, you know, uh, let them go on their walk of life, and that's about it. Just don't infringe on mine. I'm not going to hold any grudges. I'm going to keep my peace, and that's what I want. 
just like just like you Harry know? just said, ground yourself, learning to ground yourself, right. learning to. Um, yeah, but I'm talking about spirits, right? Like exactly. He's speaking metaphorically say. too. Like he, yeah. he's, a he's a Sagittarius. He's a Sagittarius ascended like, Gemini I just moon. Got a neck tattoo not so long ago, right? And like I'm getting tattoos done because one of my besties is a tattoo artist. So right. I have people coming over sometimes. And of course, you know we're all trying to be quarantined and shit. And for all the people that I trust. Right. And however, like sometimes when I've met people in the past before the quarantine, it was like people that had shit attached to them, and it was like I could see it. What but we already, we them. already, we we already, what was addressed was addressed. You understand? So, my my brother is a Sagittarius ascendant, every sun, freaking Gemini moon. So when he speaks, he speaks very cryptically. So, what he was saying, I don't want to, I don't want to put words. We're in your basically mouth. spirits, you know. I understood them a child in my home, right? Right, and right, right. Still, So we're I'll spirits. Playing right. a board game, and then I'll see a fucking shadow person all up in my house, mm -hmm. and then I'll be like, "Fuck, fuck these fools!" And then I'll you don't, you have a, it's a, it's a choice. You, know you have to turn it on and turn go. it off. You have to be able to learn how to turn it on and turn it off through meditation. And try not to fear. Fear is always gonna definitely. It, 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 that's where it comes from because when you when you fear, that's activation. Fear is a mm -hmm. that is, that is a form of activation. That is a form of marketing. So don't let these let don't let these spirits market to you. So as you were saying, right. though, it was it, it's yeah. we're spirits, and we have to yeah. learn to not give them what they need to grow. That's what right. I would tell you. So why why be why be scared of something that you already are type of thing? You know. Thanks. Oh, you're hitting it. You're hitting them up. Okay, be, okay, so, okay, let's get a little deeper then. Um, do you not believe that some people, like, have things attached to them that are natural to them? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that they, they, uh, they have, they probably have energies around them that aren't too positive. Yeah, I'm pretty sure of that. And, uh, um, you guys follow them? You know, I'm pretty sure, maybe. Um, I'm not like, discounting okay, that like, at all. I, I'm gonna tell you a little bit of my background. Can I tell you some, a little bit of something? Just so a little I bit, because you want to go deeper and answer more questions. Right? Yeah, and right. this guy's like African American and Japanese and Native American. And this guy, I, you know, I hit the road with him. Like, we ended up hitting the road and went to the Bay Area and we would play music and I would sell paintings, right? Right. And, um, and he was like really spiritual and I remember at one point once I had the baby he went to New Orleans to go play music over there and then he was sure. really into witchcraft right my baby's dad right, right, right. and um and I remember when he came back he he was telling me oh you're Mary Laveau's reincarnation I'm like, oh my what? god like, I hadn't Marie even heard of Mary Laveau right yeah that's my that's familiar. one of my spirit guys yeah huh? that's one of my spirit guys hey bro you there yeah Wait, yeah, 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 I'm there. Yeah. All right, all right. So she's really okay. So okay, let me tell you. So he was going to her burial and cleaning it, mm -hmm. and I had sewn. He was like, he had like the punk rock pants. Mm -hmm. Um, I had sewn a bunch of punk rock patches on his pants, and he, when he came back, he told me, "Oh, I offered my my pants, you know, and I wore I bought wore something else." Right. And he came back like from New Orleans, and he brought me all this stuff, and I didn't know where the stuff was from ends up being from her burial dude mm. and now he said that they had called him back for to return some of the things and um so he brought some stuff for me and then um and then my baby was like i don't know like nine months at that point alive you know out of the room i mean mm -hmm. and then so i was like oh okay i didn't know where it was from her burial and then so one day um, I was sleeping because I sleep in like, like kind of like the front room, which is right next to the living room. One day I got up and, um, and I had to go get something and I was walking to the kitchen and I saw a big light in my kitchen and she was there. She was really tall and I had never seen her before and she appeared in my kitchen, dude. And then like, I was like, I just stood there like, what? Like, I was tripping out, and then I was like, I didn't know who she was, but I was like, oh my god, this must be Mary Laveau, the one that Patrick was talking about, and then, um, 
and uh, and I just stared at her, and she stared at me with like a very like kind of like very serious look. She was like a giant dude wearing clothes from like the I don't even know 1800s, 1900s or some shit. Yeah. And um, and I hadn't, didn't know what she looked like, and then um, until that day, and then like um, then I looked away, I looked back towards my room, and then I. And then I looked at the kitchen. There was no light was not on in the kitchen, but there it was like a light when she was there. And um, mm. and then just before that, days before that, I kept seeing shadow people like everywhere, right? But my baby's dad, he like practices like meditation and astral projecting or whatever. Mm-hmm. And then so, um, so I was just like, what the hell? And then uh, then I googled her, and then I saw that who she was, because I really didn't know who she was. But um, besides that, like, I gave the stuff to some Catholic schoolboy that I know, like, he, he said he wanted to go take it to the church because I couldn't keep that stuff. I didn't want the stuff around my child, you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to be honest because my, you know, he's right. a kid. Mm-hmm. And kids, like, you know, my kids kind of, like, my kid will be talking about somebody and then the person shows up that day. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, my kid is really, he's also an Aquarius. Right. I'm an Aquarius, but my rising is Gemini. And my moon is cap. And so, but my kid is like super perceptive as well. So I'm just like, he's probably more than I am. I'm not sure. But um, I just didn't want the energy around him. But I find myself constantly having to cleanse myself. You know what I mean? I don't, I was thinking Mm -hmm. like maybe I should start wearing stones again. Because I haven't been. Um, Just to like freaking free myself and, and like, I don't want the energy around my child, you know. That's okay. So, what, what was your question again? You, What's your actual? You're right. You, yeah, you like you answered. Kind of you answered that question. You like, yeah, you're. An, <laughs> I, yeah, I would. I would definitely say that, but I would. Uh, I would ground. I would make sure that you meditate and learn to turn it on and turn it off. I, how I do it is, I just, I just detach. I just don't. I can't, I really can't give you a, I mean, everything that I try to do is to make sure that I de-stress by, like I said before, you know, grounding and things like that, grounding. If you want to wear stones, I would say tiger's eye, um, making sure, if you want to go to Madame Laveau, um, I would definitely recommend it if you have specific goals in mind, but we can always discuss that at a later date but what we were talking about really is you know understanding how we how we interpret what we have going on having that strong foundation having that strong mind man understanding to go back to earth like you said bro understanding that technology is not always i be, i believe that where we go from here Exactly. Where we go from here is understanding what we need in balance and knowing that Mm -hmm. knowing that how we perceive is very important, how we know what to do, you know, combining our instincts with our intuition, with these technologies in a very healthy way. So, all right, you know, and I, hey. I'll be on my goddamn phone if I could. If I had my whole day to myself, man, I'd be on that phone all goddamn day. Watching Twitch, YouTube, all that bullshit, bro. Like, hey, what, you know, and it's like, fuck. If, I, if I'm if i not around it, it's like, what the hell do I do? You know, sit there like a bump on a log, watch TV. Another fucking piece of technology. Like, goddamn. I'm glad that but you... Yeah. I'm glad that one, one of the things that you wanted to do was... um. You know, introduce that that law school that you were talking about for the children because we do need to understand that, you know, these goals yeah. are very important as far as understanding our surroundings, as far as understanding these these territories that are very important. So if you wanna if you wanna touch on that, just whatever you wanna talk about pertaining to you know your your personal goals i know you're in arizona i know you are you know trying to stay trying to stay in your own lane you don't really want to you really don't want to involve yourself too deeply in the socialization and what when you just came from uh virginia uh 
not Florida. 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 All right, all right. Pensacola. So you, why did you move to Arizona? Uh, I had to. I had uh, personal uh, things to do, deal with. So yeah. it wasn't like, because AC is like super like dope, dude. Like they have so much like yeah. space. Yeah. Yeah, yeah uh, they do. It just, just so happened. I uh, I was already here before for like eight years. So I just decided to come back and restart what I what I stopped. <laughs> Bro, the first thing that I felt when I was in Arizona, when I'm when I went from because I was <clears throat> I was coming from Chicago to Arizona because I stayed in Arizona not too long, but long enough. <laughs> the first thing I yeah. felt was that. I don't know if you felt it, but that gold, bro. I just felt this big energy. I was like, oh, my God. I should have been here. I definitely felt that, man. I definitely felt that. So what would you recommend for somebody going to Arizona? Like, why do you? Because I really don't understand. Like, what what made you? I'm going to touch on uh, why, why would you? What is it about Arizona for you, bro, personally? Shit. I just like the fact that, I mean, I like, there's a lot of stuff I like about Arizona, you know? And there's a lot of stuff that is not like the East. Because fucking nigga on the East, bro. Or, you know, on the East, it's a whole lot of racist shit. You know what I mean? I'm tired of that shit. Fuck that shit. I mean, I'm down the east, you know what I mean? Right. I feel you. I don't. Uh, and, and it's not. It, it's not like it's. It's here. It's everywhere. But it's not like in your face and like fuck you. It's not as. And like uh. No, it's it's really not. It's more integrated in Arizona. Yeah. It is. You know. It's not more integrated. You still got the people that do more, that do a little shady yeah. ass shit, but. Yeah. You know, it's not like a systematic, a weird systematic, like Georgia, you know? Mm hmm Yeah. So, Carrie is asking if you smoke bud. Do you smoke bud, bro? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh I mean, what is bud? No, is that saying, a thing? Yeah. People still smoke weed? <laughs> I know, right? Smoking that CBD weed. Nah, it's no THC in it. It's uh, officer. No, that's that's not what this is. <laughs> right? Exactly, nigga. Exactly. Wait, is it not legal in AC? It's, it's, huh? Is it? Is it not legal? Is it legal in, in AC? It's medical in AC. Um, they about to hopefully they push that shit for fucking in November to go recreational, but. Arizona is Arizona waited so goddamn long that shit hit the ballot five times for them to make it uh, legal medical. So they after five times they have to do it, you know. Hmm. After it hits the ballot five times, that they have to do it. So do you think if you have a if you if, you, if they make it like um, if it's legal over there and you have convictions with it, you should be able to like. Uh, turn those convictions into like a situation where it's like you'll get money out of it. Like my homie, he had so many fucking uh, like convictions for selling weed out here in LA, mm. and uh, he ended up like like being able to get one of the first persons to like get like a, a weed license to fucking grow and sell, homie. Damn. And now Ooh. he owns a fucking company with fucking Mike Tyson out here in LA. What? Come on, plug me yeah, in. Come on. He's from Oaxaca. He's a little ass Mexican dude. Yeah, for real. Because he had so many convictions. Because I used to buy weed from him in downtown LA. Wait, wait, wait. Like wait, wait. Don't, say, don't say all that. Don't say all that. Like, <laughs> he has a fucking company. Like, he basically got a lawyer and was like, and he fucking, like, fought against it, they cleared out his convictions and they gave him a weed growing license. That's fine. Like, because mm. of it. Like, if you have convictions for it, like, actual convictions, you know what I mean? When it was, like, illegal or they're, like, trying to accuse you. Like, I only had, like, yeah. for smoking in public. But, like, that who had, like, gone to jail for it. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. yeah. 
I like your voice, Ali. We can do that. We could. We should definitely do a freaking podcast, like if we can hook up the technology and just make it work, bro. We should. De- this would be real interesting. Dude, do you have Zoom? I do have Zoom. You know, people be having fucking live talks on Zoom. I go to fucking gothic parties on Zoom now every weekend. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, we'll make it work like, and get this good money. Fuck this shit. I'm not trying to be pulled no more. <laughs> I can't even see you, fool. Yeah. I can only see you drinking. What the hell are you drinking in this picture? Uh, that's a blue moon. That's one of my favorite beers. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Bro, I'm still waiting on this fucking lift, dude. Nigga, 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 nigga shoot me your fucking Addy, bro. On the shoot me, I get you an Uber, bro. What the fuck, nigga? Shoot me your. Wait, you guys near me or each other? Nah, he's in AZ. I'm in Chicago area. But Dude, when you coming to the West Coast though? I was supposed to go to Oakland, right? But I was supposed to go to Oakland on my birthday. My birthday was we got the same birthday. Me and my brother, we got the same birthday, March third. Oh, how funny. Same birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we went to middle school. So you were supposed to come out here but then the quarantine killed it? Right before. Right before I just got five uh, I don't know how much money I got on my taxes. But I was supposed to use the taxes and just turn up. Actually, with uh, one of the people that's watching, I'm not going to say their name. They know who they are. But we are going to turn up. I was going to go to... She told me not to go to Oakland. She told me to meet her in L.A. But, um, yeah, I was about to go out there. And I got a homeboy in um somewhere in L.A. I don't know if he wants me to say his name. But, yeah, it's, all, I, it's game, bro. You already know what it is. So yeah, dude, shit, so- the homie out here. No, uh, Jordan, bro. I already just said his name. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't care. I don't even know the brother. <laughs> nah, yeah, I was supposed to. I was supposed to kick it with Jordan. I was supposed to kick it with um, you know, the other homie. But nah, man, I was about to be out there, but they they stopped it, man. They came against us. They huh. came against you know what? I was shit, bro. Into- me to go to London, dude. I really want to just go to India, for real. London. But... Do it the bros. Yeah. This shit's crazy. Can't go nowhere right now. Shit. Jeez. Man, oh, I'm, about to, I'm about to make my plan and go wherever the fuck I <laughs> no, Shit, bro. Yeah. Um, shoot me the Addy. I'll get you an Uber, bro. Freaking let me know, man. Cause I mean, you, st- you still been waiting on these food. We've been on the phone for an hour, though. It's like I know, I know, bro. These motherfuckers, Dude, the, the app literally canceled my shit. Here. Was it Earth? Huh? I think that just I don't know if that was an earthquake, but some lap just shook real like a lot right now. Mm. Oh shit! Well, yeah, I'm right next to Cali, so uh, hopefully, you know, I might feel that way later. <laughs> but um do way later <laughs> you know so like do you do the tarot too I'm sorry I don't know your name what's your name not Stats. Aaron the other guy Stats, Stats. Uh, yeah S T A T S. oh I can see somebody else there's somebody else up here I don't even know how this is still yeah it's like fire the fireplace you guys are freaking oh, amazing. Got a bonfire going. Yo. Oh, I can see you, dude. All right, there we I go. Can see you now. Hey, <laughs> Weird. That's amazing. Where are you at, though? I can see your fire. Focus on the fire, man. You can see it. Bye. There you go. Oh, oh my God. So much beauty. How are you? What's up? I'm good. How are you? Okay, okay, let me see. Sure, show myself. I, I'm not wearing no makeup. I just washed my face. Ah! Oh my god. <laughs> 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 That's the Aaron, there you are. Oh. Aaron, I got my, I got braids on, dude. You better fucking do that shit, girl. Oh, 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 o
It's like Discord, bro. Just a whole bunch of I don't crazy. Know. A whole <laughs> lot of gang shit, I guess. <laughs> Man, if you ever go into a voice chat in Discord, bro, that shit, that shit is wild sometimes. All you hear is fucking inward, inward, and and craziness. With the hard <laughs> art, yeah. I don't know. Ali was uh, nice like that, though. Good for her. Oh. Well, hi. Hi. How are you? As pretty as usual. <laughs> I don't even know how to do. I this is new technology. I don't know what's going on at all. Oh man, that's that's. But yeah, me. So it's gonna be me. Ale, stats. We're gonna get this money. We're gonna start up a fire podcast. We're gonna name it something fire, and um, I think we're gonna call it Thought fire. Star. Yeah, like. And I start to listen to this bonfire. Yeah. Thoughts, like your mind. Um, thoughts. Synchronicity. Exactly, and I'm the star. <laughs> you know, hey, you know. And everybody's beautiful. Jesus. Stats is yeah. beautiful. That's a pretty nigga. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you think it's found one driver? Fucking Uber found one driver and then charges me more money. Oh, it's, bro. Oh, I just wasted so much fucking money right now. I got you, bro. Wait till wait till Uncle Trump hits us with this second stimulus check. I, I got you. All my niggas need good macaroni man, every day. Ass money. I'm on my head, but no, nah, I want that. I'm not covering that shit, but nigga. Nigga, we eat good noodles money, every day. You know Fuck saying? that hey. shit. But other than that, bro. All kind of bonfires. These motherfuckers better get my money back. I know that. I know that too, bro. Fuck that. We, we getting, we getting good noodles every day. Eating kitchens, all of that. Eating chickens, bonfires. Whole lot of, whole lot of everything. We going to LA. Whole lot of. Uh, we going to. A whole lot of games. We gonna be on Vlad TV, <laughs> nigga. Everything, bro. We gonna bring Ale. Everything. Heather. Whole lot of good weather. Is this Heather? It's not Heather, is it? No. With the bonfire, bonfire Heather. Hey, what's going on? Destiny. Destiny. Oh, she might be my fate. <laughs> she better not have a husband. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> but this motherfucker says I found one driver, but ain't nobody fucking. They didn't connect me to the shit. Like, come on. Uh, uh, drivers are busy at the moment. Damn. Who is this? I have no idea what's going on. That's okay. That's why drugs exist. Smoking. Everybody smoking cigarettes? Baby, you too pretty to be smoking cigarettes with them braids? Come on now. I'm in the Chicagoland area. My bro stats, he's in Arizona. Trying to just, he's just trying to pay his taxes, be a good civilized American, get home from work. The Uber is playing with him. He won't shoot me the Addy because he has way too much pride to, 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 to let me Bro, these motherfuckers. But we're about to put together something beautiful. I feel it in my soul. I feel it Bruh, Uber, Uber, Uber literally just fucking, they canceled my shit. Like, there's no driver. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Who are you with? Uh, Destiny. Oh. Where yeah. She's in my Hi. future. <laughs> oh. Amazing. I wish I could go outside. Nice to meet you. 
That's the best. That's the best way. No makeup. No makeup 2020. <gasps> you just got a double kind of dog. It's the Mexican hairless dog. They're called Cholo Esquinkle. Cholo Esquinkle. Esquinkle? Yeah, they're like, they have no hair. No hair. Shine. Yeah, yeah, my, my wow. mom called me Gay Marie. That's weird. Yeah, it's fucking badass because my kid's allergic to fucking cat hair, so I figured it would be better if I get a hair, a dog without hair. Mm. You put, like, oil on them? Solutions. That's what I need. I need some coconut oil because I just got all these lavenders. I was walking down the street. I picked some lavenders and violets. Yeah, they're on my altar right now. I need it. I love oil. Olive oil, it's not that good for black people here, though. But I like Not olive oil. Hair. I like for the skin. Hell yeah. <laughs> Synchronicity, like you said. Oh, look at my... Yo, my hair's already crazy, dude. It's like ridiculous. My violets. What's that? The flowers? Nah, they're um lavender. My bad, not violets. Lavender. Yeah, I got them What's today. They smell oh, nice. good as a motherfucker. I turned that corner. I was like, oh, what the fuck is that? And I look, yeah, uh, big ass bush of lavender. I mean, uh, yeah, lavender. And yeah, there's this chick on the dock, bro. Right. And she, she be, she be, she be making the whole dock smell good, nigga. Or just, you know, smelling her perfume or whatever. Yeah. Nigga, I be trying to fucking not inhale and all types of shit because I already know, like, when, when, when you have a whole bunch of dudes on the goddamn dock. And then so you got one girl and she's pretty, <laughs> right? Niggas is gonna be on some other shit. And I and I you and it's just like you you start you start changing for no goddamn reason. Like you start wanting to goddamn show off and shit. Not show off, not show off, but act. You you, you start like I guess you could say show off, you know. Like the goddamn like a peacock. Exactly. Peacock, that's the yeah. Go I can see that. Trip. Hell yeah. yeah! You just want people to not touch you it's when you smell like, that. You're like, oh. nigga, yeah. I don't look at her. I ain't said, I ain't like, said yeah. nothing but a few words to her, bro. Don't touch said, me. We had a like, meeting, uh, and this motherfucker picked me as a goddamn. Scrappy dude. I get you, bro. That makes a lot of sense, bro. So, what you gonna name your dog? I think it. Um, she already has a name. Mm -hmm. His name is Kiriku. What is that? Kiriku. Kiriku. What does that mean? Yeah, like the cartoons, the anime. This is an animation of uh. Alaska Boy. I'll show him you that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My homegirl showed me up in the punk band, and she, like, I already knew from that. Hmm. And, uh, That's why I really appreciate those two cultures. Because I like I was telling you, bro, the relationship between the relationship between <laughs> I know you don't like me to say the word because you think it's derogatory, but that's really not. But we Googled it, so it is derogatory, so I shouldn't say it, but I'm gonna say it anyway. The relationship between Mongoloid people and Hispanics is very interesting. What? What do you use? <laughs> Mesoamerican? Or I use. Um, you said Mesoamerican? Chicana. Mesoamerican is where all you use land, right? Mm -hmm. And then. Um, Coronavirus. Or Native American, like when I listen to all that shit, I put Native American, even though I'm mixed with like. <laughs> so what does Hispanic mean? When do we stop saying that? It just means they called me Hispanic, they called me Hispanic, they called me that. What? They were explaining it. That's 
That's crazy. She yeah. said Puerto Rican the same time that you did. No, I said I'm Puerto Rican at the same time that you did. She said I'm Puerto Rican the same time you said Puerto Rico. Hmm. Bags. Not all Puerto Ricans got big butts. Not too big. Sorry. That's true. <laughs> I, I I did my research. Hell yeah. So we got we got a whole lot of gang shit. Hold on one second, bro. Hold on, hold on. What were you saying about what were you saying about um? The. Is that even a term? And mongoloid. So I'm like. I didn't know that was derogatory. Right, definitely. Yeah. My Hello? people are from Spain, uh, originally on my mom's side. I don't know if you saw a picture of my mom. I posted her on Mother's Day. I haven't, but I will. Yeah, yeah. Um, you uh, from Spain? From Spain, yeah. yeah they from came Spain. from Spain in like 18... Like, what is it? You're more? Mm -mm. Like, you're mm -mm. more Spanish than you are Spanish? I'm not a more. Bro, who would better give me my money back? I know that shit. If Uber don't give you your money back, I don't give you your money back. Fuck that What's shit. Up with you guys Uber, dude? Uber's the shit. Uber everywhere. I know. I Uber too. Nice. I love me some Uber. I got hello. I'm a gold member. I'm about to be platinum. <laughs> I'm about to be platinum in 350 more um, points. Nah, but um, yeah, my people came over here. They moved from Spain to Cuba. And then they came over here. Legally, of course. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, that's how I got here. Which is really soothing. Your voice is yeah. very soothing. Well, thank you. I'm going to be putting out some affirmations very soon. I'm going to put out a whole affirmation album. It's going to be called Honey Tongues. Honey Tongues? I'm down with that. I've been looking for some, like, some hip-hop that I could fucking be appropriate to use. Uh, oh, here, everything. Like, this is some shit. You and did it. Like, you spoke it. Here. It's gonna be, I know the universe is taking care of me every step that I take. I it's gonna be some shit like that. But I am gonna put hip hop. You called it before I even put that up. But Stas is gonna help me with this, um, this project. He's gonna be producing, co producing it with me as soon as he gets to his home safely. If anybody knows anybody in Arizona, because my brother works hard as fuck. He works I'm, hard not, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, bro. This, <laughs> I'm good. this nigga works hard as shit. Okay, there we go. I'm not gonna, yeah, I got you. So, shit. you just gotta put hey. that positive energy out for him. He works hard, he works way hey, too I, hard to be doing I, good. Yeah, Liz already found me a driver and shit, bro. Nigga. After an hour? Right. Right. But, um,. Nigga, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to see like big ass numbers come in with this fucking, with this freight shit, nigga. So I can see how, how we, how we work. Nigga, exactly. I can't wait to start this new huh? job. I'm about to fuck their minds up, bro. I am about to fuck them up. I'm about to be at 115% every day, nigga. I'm about to fuck right. Amazon up, bro. For real. Let's nigga. go. Thanks, nigga. Let's I'm about go. to get swollen, nigga. Bro, for real. <laughs> Damn, and then, then like, oh no, man. Did you see that? Shit, you gonna be up though, bro. You good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. I, I just can't say what I wanted to say because I'm gonna keep that. Like how I said, I'm gonna keep it. Hey, man. Say, man. We gonna get you there. We gonna get you there, bro. To the top, bro. All day. Shit, nigga. I just want to get a goddamn like hit like 130,000 bills in a goddamn hour. <laughs> I can't wait till I can start smoking weed again, bro. You're lucky. You already got the job. Oh, uh, you should start smoking weed again. I can't, nigga. I'm trying to. Uh, they still won't drug test me, man. I've been asking them every day. <laughs> you drug test me. Drug test. God damn. Can you give me the drug test so I can hit this motherfucking weed, nigga? Yeah, God take damn. my DNA. <laughs> <laughs> take my hair. Take my blood. God damn. Something. <laughs> no, just give us a couple days, bro. Come on, do it. So I can. One of these days, if I take another drug test for a job or some shit like that, 
Nigga, I'm going to check. I'm going to read the contract, bro. I'm going to see right. what they actually do with that shit. We're going to clone you, and then after that, then we, I don't know. No, nigga. Tell me. Whoa. <laughs> it's in the clone oh. clause. You didn't read it, did you? <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. I'm going to stop joking like that. Um, trying to do me like Kodak Black. Oh, look at that fire. Put the incense in. Put them intention. Third eye, third eye, third eye. Man, you guys are a little... All right. Ale? Yeah. All right. Yeah, nice you too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. Turn up. <laughs> Turn up. All right. Stats. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, thank you. <laughs> nice, pal. You too. Jeez. That's the money, man. We got to put a podcast together, bro. That was a good combination of energy. Here. I'm going to be diabetic in the morning. Okay. All day. Did you hit the live button? Man? It's still going, man. I don't know what's oh. going on. Are we alive? Is yeah. this real? Is this real life? Is it real life? Is this really you want to make it? Real? Exactly. It's, uh, exactly. It's reality. It's a simulation. Oh. Sometimes, anyway. Who is this? All day, man. That would be a good combination of energies. She's an Aquarius, just like Lo. Hey, nigga, Lo. Yeah, my other brother. Yeah. So, where'd you That guys? nigga need to hop on this motherfucking name. That would be hard. Yeah, you already know, man. It's 3 o'clock. It's 4 o'clock on the East Coast. I know. <laughs> this country is big, bro. That's why I love being American pretty much. So where are you guys? You're in the West Coast? Where am I at? Oh, these are new people. Yeah. I am in Derryville, California. That's awesome. Ooh. I'm out in the middle of nowhere. I like it that yeah, way. Yeah. Bro. Facts. Yeah. California. I know you smoking weed, huh? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Doesn't that make my ears make yeah, Who eats marshmallows at 1 o'clock in the morning? They have to be high. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man. It's his own zip code. That's amazing. Bruh, I'll, I'll talk more when I'm fucking in the room, man. But damn, that shit here. Hey, uh, let me... No, 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 I feel like that. Just go on sleep. Who, me? You. Yeah. Everybody's going to sleep. Sleepy time. Oh my god, this smart is so yummy. Sleep. Oh boy. I wish I could give you one through the phone. You can. It's called magic. We all believe in magic. Hold on, what's up? This is weird. I got a lot of electronics. Yeah, it is weird. Sure. You wanna be the DJ? I was originally supposed to be freestyling, but everybody backed out because they know they know not to do that. <laughs> you can play some Portish uh, Nirvana. You can play Frank Floyd. You can play Hemi Chendrix. Whoa. Did I say fucking Hemi Chendrix? What the fuck? I'm like, who? Like, where, where have I heard that before? Gendrix. I'm like, oh, I forgot. I watched it. I, uh, I fuck with that one DJ dude. The academic one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. That's so sad. Oh, man. 
That nigga's a fool, bro. That nigga did, bro. I told you this nigga passed out on stream. He passed out on stream. Bruh, I should. Drake him. told him to take three shots. This nigga took those three shots, yeah. and all of a sudden he started <laughs> making all these noises and passed out and fell off the chair. Look at feather. Look at feather and fate. What's your friend's name? Fate. What's your friend's name? Fate? Destiny. Wow. Very similar. Destiny. 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 Oh, yeah. Or they like to call it Defunk. Defunk? <laughs> As he said. Mm. That's a song. Bruh, it's crazy how I keep getting the same. Some sometimes I I get a lot of the same motherfuckers. Keep it in my way. My bad. That's awesome. Shit. I know, right? Yeah. Like, what the hell? Hey, anybody play? Well, I, I'm over here talking about does anybody play video games? I don't even play video games. I don't play video. When I post this shit on shit. Facebook, they're gonna be like, bro, what? What <laughs> right. are you doing, bro? Oh, man. Oh, yeah, what's up, mate? It's over. <laughs>